Let's turn to drought now. Much of Europe is struggling to cope with what has been described as the worst drought here on record. High temperatures, also a lack of rain, have led to serious problems in several countries. People are being told to conserve water and the forecast says more hot weather is on the way. The BBC's Tim Ullman reports. In this part of southeast France, these fields are usually bursting with colour. Row after row of lavender. But this year, the soil is like sand. The plants seem lifeless, the heat wave taking its toll. Ministers came to see the situation for themselves. The French government has set up a special crisis unit to try and deal with a problem they say is unprecedented. We've never experienced a drought like this one, and the bad news is, as far as we can see, there's no reason to think it will stop. It's even worse than that because we have a heat wave and a drought, so we have a vicious circle. So just how bad has it got? Well, more than 100 towns and villages across the country have run out of fresh drinking water, with supplies having to be bussed in. The national energy company, EDF, says some nuclear power stations have had to reduce output because river temperatures are too high to properly cool the reactors. And farmers are warning of reduced yields, which could lead to higher food prices. Here, not far from the Palace of Versailles, the water inspectors are on patrol. Visiting this golf club, they want to make sure the restrictions are being respected, the rules are being followed. This year, obviously, the situation here is similar to what's happening in France as a whole. We're experiencing a period of drought that is quite exceptional. It's not just France. Italy is experiencing its driest year since records began more than 200 years ago. In Romania, the River Danube is nearing its lowest ever level, with exposed sand dunes making navigation difficult. I'm my first donor I can tell you the Danube had a low level before, but the elders say it's never been like this, said this man. We hope maybe a divine force can help us with some rain. Even in the UK, a country not exactly renowned for high temperatures, they've experienced the driest July since 1935. Water restrictions are being imposed in the southeast and in parts of Wales. And with the heat likely to rise and no sign of rain in the coming days, things may well get worse before they get better. Tim Allman, BBC News.